Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So, check this out. I'm here in my terminal, and as you can see, my IP address is literally changing every couple of seconds. It's like a digital disguise cycling through new ones constantly. Cool, right? But what if we could take that power of anonymity and link it directly to our web browser? That means browsing, searching, watching videos, all with a much stronger layer of privacy. Today, we're going to do exactly that by linking up with the Tor network. Now, the first step is getting Tor. We need to type sudo apt install tor. It'll ask for confirmation. Just type y and press enter. Then start the tor service by typing sudo systemctl start tor. And then we need to verify if it is running by typing sudo systemctl status tor. We can obviously see that it is active. Then we need to install pip. Pip is a tool you use to install Python packages. You need it for almost every Python project. Type this command and press enter. sudo apt install python 3-pip. This command installs pip for python 3. Wait until the installation finishes. Once pip is installed, you install python libraries with a simple command. Now let me show you how to check if pip is installed correctly. You use these commands in the terminal. pip 3-- version. If pip is installed, you see the version number and the file path on your screen. This confirms pip works and you are ready to install python packages then you type python 3 mpip install tornit dash dash break dash system dash packages to run pip through python itself this method runs pip in a safer and more controlled way the word install tells pip to download and install a package tornit is the name of the package you are installing the flag break system packages tells kaylee linux you accept the risk of modifying the system python environment this works because Kali Linux protects its system Python by default. The protection blocks normal package installs. This flag bypasses the protection and allows the install to finish successfully. Then I will show you how to route Firefox traffic through Tor using Sox v5. Open the Firefox browser. Click the three lines in the top right corner. Go to settings. Scroll all the way to the bottom of the page. Under Network Settings, click Settings. In Connection Settings, select Manual Proxy Configuration. In the SOX host field, choose SOX v5. Type your machine's local address 127.0.0.1 as the address. Set the port to 9050. The local address in every machine is usually same as the address we typed here. SOX works as a tunnel for your traffic. The address 127.0.0.1 points to your own computer. Port 9050 is where the Tor service listens for connections. With this setup, Firefox sends traffic to Tor and Tor sends it to the internet anonymously. Scroll to the bottom of the window, check the option proxy DNS when using SOX v5, click OK to save the settings. Let's get back to the terminal. In the final step, I run the command tornit space dash dash interval space space dash dash count space zero. This command starts tornit and connects it to the Tor network. It rotates the Tor IP every two seconds. It keeps running without stopping until I stop it manually. Now I open the Firefox browser, I go to check.torproject.org. This page confirms I am connected to the Tor network. Next I visit dnsleaktest.com. This site lets me verify my IP address and see changes. Here is what is happening in the background. Tornit runs in the terminal and rotates the Tor IP every 3 seconds. If you watch the terminal, you see the IP changing rapidly. When I check the IP inside Firefox, it updates slower. It usually takes around 30 seconds to 1 minute. This behavior is normal. Firefox keeps connections open and caches DNS requests. Because of this, the browser shows the new IP with a delay. Even though the browser updates slower, the IP is changing every 3 seconds in the background. Tornet works correctly. The delay comes from how Firefox handles network connections. If this video helped you, subscribe to the channel and like the video.